everyone, Andrikatz here and welcome back to my channel! Whether you are a veteran player or just stepping into WoW for the first time, having the right toys in your arsenal can make a huge difference. Today I've compiled a list of 7 toys that not only bring a smile to your face but also serve a purpose in enhancing your gameplay. In this curated list, each one offers a distinct utility and are definitely worth a spot in your collection. If you are looking for ways to make your WoW gameplay a lot better, then stick around around as we break down these must-have toys. So without further ado, let's go! Surely one of the most game-changing toys in WoW is having a portable mailbox, and luckily there are a few options to choose from. We have two, Katie's Stump Whistle or Ahuna Perch. You can pick either, as they share the same cooldown of 3 hours, yes, a whooping amount of 3 hours, but you know what's the best part? Well, the best part is that you can use anyone's mailbox, so you aren't always bound to your personal one. So let's take a closer look at Ahuna Perch, the easier of the two to obtain. Achieving renown level 14 with Maruk Center is the only requirement which grants you this handy toy, and reaching that level now is obviously not as hard as it sounds. The majority of you have probably already achieved that, or you are very well on your way. Activating this toy summons a child of an NPC that serves as the mailbox for a generous 10 minutes. But to be completely honest with you, still Katie wins for me. I mean, look at her, she's the best, isn't she? To acquire the second mailbox toy, you need to head to Legion's Dalaran in this specific area and check the floor by the mailbox for any lost mail. If you do find it, well, consider yourself lucky. Interact with it and a quest will pop up. The lost mail spawns every two hours, but be prepared as many players are on the lookout for it. If luck isn't on your side, well, worry not. You can also check the auction house and grab it from there if it's at a reasonable price. The quest will lead you to the sewers of Dalaran, and once completed, you need to head back to the main floor, interact with this tube over here, and you'll find yourself in a bizarre looking room. Pick up the quest from the postmaster, making sure to enable the tracking option for low level quests. Follow the quest line, which is actually one of the funniest quests out there, involving Invincible, Johnny Awesome, and good old goblins. Once you reach Mimiron's head and complete the quest, return to the original mail room. Complete the quest, sorting out the mail based on their location and the challenge version as well. And that's all you need to do, you should be able to find Katie in your next mail. You will also receive another lost mail, which can be sold on the auction house or just sent to a friend, so that's very handy as well. Undoubtedly, having a portable mailbox is incredibly useful, especially when paired with Longboy allowing players to buy items from the auction house anywhere in the world, even during raid progress or before Mythic Plus. The next essential toy I recommend for everyone to have is a Hearthstone toy. It doesn't really matter which one you end up choosing, the indecision is entirely up to you since they only offer a visual effect to the cast. The reason for having a toy like this is very simple. After setting your Hearthstone to a specific location, you can very well throw away the actual Hearthstone item and just replace it with the toy on your bars. This neat trick not only provides a visual upgrade, but also saves you a valuable back slot. So pick the Hearthstone toy that appeals to you, and there are a bunch of them to choose from, and there you go, a niche trick that comes in handy, especially if you didn't know about it. If you're not a Death Knight, then this next the next toy I have for you is an absolute must-have, and I'm talking about the Tuscar dinghy. Obviously anything related to the Tuscar is just adorable, but this toy doesn't just bring cuteness, it also offers practical utility. This tiny boat not only allows you to float on the water, but also lets you fish while you are on it. To get this handy toy, the process is quite easy. You only need to complete the achievement called River Rapids Wrangler. Basically you'll need to catch 40 fish in one Ride with Rurik, a Tuscar NPC that you can find in this location in Azure Spa. If he's not present, that means you need to complete a quick quest line beforehand. Pick up the initial quest from Rurik over here and just follow the quest chain until you gain access to the Tuscar boat. And that's it, then you just need to talk to him and start the ride. You can see how many fish you already caught by tracking this buff over here. Honestly, this achievement is not as hard as it may seem. As you can see, with a bit of quick maneuvering and a touch of luck, you can easily accomplish it. Seriously though, my ride wasn't flawless, I left behind, I don't know, 4-5 fish 
and yeah i mean i think everyone should be able to do it so yeah that's how you can get the tasker boat notably if you keep jamming on the space bar it goes faster and faster which is so fun and yes it will have been a lot more if it actually worked it gets very buggy sometimes and it doesn't provide the boost it normally should but nonetheless it's still very fun to do you should also know that there is another toy that provides the same water walking utility and that's the infamous angler's fishing raft but it's a lot harder to obtain as you need to reach revere with the anglers so as you can quite tell this cannot be obtained over one night so yeah the choice between the two comes down to personal preference so just pick the one that suits your style if you often embark on fishing activities having either of them it's an absolute game changer moving on the atomic recalibrator is an awesome toy to have that allows for instant race changing when you walk over it it stays up for around three minutes or so and every time you pass over you change into a random race the ingrated buff lasts for an hour and luckily does persist through death. The downside is its lengthy cooldown of 12 hours. There are so many race changing toys out there, but frankly, this is my favorite one because, well, simply your friends can use it as well and change to any desired race. To get your hands on this entertaining toy, you'll need an engineer to craft it, or you can obviously check the auction house. At least on my server, it's quite cheap. But if you do have engineering, then that's even better. You can learn this schematic automatically by investing 10 points into the novelty subspec of the mechanical mind. Having this toy adds an extra layer of fun, especially during group activities such as raids, where you and your friends can liven things up by transforming into different races. Beyond the entertainment factor, it's also very beneficial for races like Toren, who often face challenges when navigating tight spaces. And this toy comes to solve this problem by transforming your character into a much smaller race, making maneuvering much more manageable. If you are a pet butler, then the safari hat is a must-have toy for your collection. This remarkable toy grants a sweet 10% boost to the experience gained in pet battles and that boost can make a substantial difference over time. Despite being classified as a hat, you don't actually have to wear it for it to work, you just simply need to click on it and voila, you should be able to get the 10% more XP. To obtain this toy, you need to get the achievement Taming the World which obviously is something that takes time. You need to defeat 40 master pet tamers on these specific zones. Acquiring this achievement is surely something not everyone will do, but it surely pays off if you want to level up your pets. So it's mostly aimed for those said people, and that's pretty darn useful. The next toy on the list is one of my personal favorites, the Jar of the Sunworm Sand. This toy has the incredible ability to make the world around you shift back to the day. As a content creator, this thing is golden for recording footage or capturing stunning screenshots. But of course, its utility extends beyond creators. It's truly a game changer for anyone playing in different time zones compared to the realms, for role-playing people, or even for those with a bit of visual issues. Honestly, I think this is very useful for anyone who just wants to play during daylight. And that's totally doable with this toy. If you want to get this toy, you can buy it from Otella, who is located in the tunnel Caverns of Time in Tanaris. You need 1000 Time Warp badges though to get it. The biggest drawback for me is not really the price, but the unnecessary lengthy cooldown of one day. However, keep in mind that there are some alternative items called Sunworm Sun, which also provide the same utility. These are also sold by the same NPC as the toy and they are consumed on use, but they are so much cheaper so you can stack a lot. They offer the same buff with the toy lasting 2 hours. And you don't have to worry about the cooldown, whether it's creating content, navigating time zones, or just simply enjoying the visuals, this toy provides freedom, which is something truly special when playing a video game. The final toy I have for you today is the Ethereal Transmogrifier. I intentionally saved it for last due to its limited availability. Depending on when you watch this video, this toy might not be available to get, and that's because it's coming from the trading post. 
This versatile toy summons a transmogrifier NPC that allows you to change your transmog everywhere in the world, and yes, even indoors, in raids and dungeons. While many of you might have the transmog yak, this toy takes the spotlight in places where mouse can't be summoned, and that's a huge win, if you ask me. The transmog NPC stays up for 10 minutes, allowing everyone in the area to use it, and it comes with a short cooldown of 10 minutes. Incredibly handy to have in any case. The very bad thing about it is its availability. It can only be acquired through the trading post, and it was last available in August. If you missed out on it, don't worry though, there's a big possibility it will make a return in the future, but there is no way of saying when exactly that will happen. Keep an eye out though for this toy if you are enjoying the frequent look changing. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of the best toys in WoW. These 7 toys are not only delightful distractions but also do surprisingly come in handy in the right situations. Don't forget to comment below with your favorite toys or any hidden gems that I might have missed. As always, thank you so much for watching my content and drop a like if you have found this video helpful. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Good luck with whatever you are doing and I will see you all on the next one. Bye!